Have you ever questioned the true nature of a story that seems simple and heartwarming on the surface? Let's take a journey into the pages of a seemingly innocent children's book, The Giving Tree, penned by the renowned author Shel Silverstein. At first glance, it's a touching tale that tugs at our heartstrings, depicting the boundless love of a tree towards a young boy. This tree, in its infinite affection, provides the boy with everything he needs throughout his life, from apples to branches and eventually its own trunk. Its narrative has been widely accepted and celebrated as a testament of unconditional love and selfless giving. This interpretation has gained popularity, resonating with millions around the globe, adorning the bookshelves of countless households and often recited as bedtime stories for young ones. It's a tale that warms the cockles of our hearts, isn't it? But is it possible there's more to this story than meets the eye? What if The Giving Tree isn't just a simple tale of love, but a stark portrayal of exploitation and one-sided relationships? The story we've come to know and love, the tale of a tree that gives unconditionally to a boy throughout his life, might not be as straightforward as it seems. At first glance, it appears to be a heartwarming narrative of unconditional love, a tree, a boy, a bond that transcends time. But let's chip away at this veneer of simplicity and examine the darker undertones. Let's delve into the depths of this seemingly innocent story. The boy throughout his life takes everything from the tree. He plucks her apples, chops her branches, and even cuts down her trunk. His actions symbolize a relationship of exploitation where he continues to take without giving anything in return. While the tree expresses joy in these sacrifices, it's worth pondering whether such selflessness could be interpreted as self-destruction. The tree gives and gives until there's nothing left but a stump. Is this not a stark portrayal of how one-sided relationships can drain an individual, leaving them a shell of their former selves? And what about the boy? He grows into a man, an old man, never once reciprocating the tree's love. He takes without a word of thanks, without a hint of remorse. His actions, once seen as the innocent demands of a child, now mirror the exploitative tendencies of society. A society where relentless taking without giving back is often the norm. The trees giving nature, while seen as an ideal of selflessness, can also be viewed as a cautionary tale against losing oneself in the act of giving. The tree's joy in giving away parts of itself could be interpreted as a reflection of its low self-worth, believing its value lies only in what it can give to others. So perhaps the boy's actions aren't as innocent as they initially seem. This story, cloaked in simplicity, invites us to question and explore the dynamics of relationships, the balance of give and take, and the potential harm that can come from unchecked exploitation. This deeper interpretation can dramatically change our perception of the giving tree. We've traversed through the heartwarming facade and explored the dark underbelly. Now let's weave these threads together in our final analysis. Our journey began with the seemingly innocent tale of a boy and his tree, a story painted with the hues of selfless love and lifelong friendship. But the undercurrents of this tale are far more profound. Upon closer inspection, we see a narrative of exploitation, of a one-sided relationship where the boy takes incessantly from the tree. We've observed the tree's unwavering generosity, its willingness to sacrifice everything, even its own existence, for the boy's happiness. But we've also noted the boy's insatiable appetite for more, more apples, more branches, more trunk, never once considering the toll it takes on his steadfast companion. This reinterpretation of the giving tree is not an attempt to tarnish a beloved story, but rather to challenge our understanding of it. It prompts us to question the nature of love and sacrifice. Is love truly selfless, or does it require reciprocity to be sustainable? Is sacrifice noble, or can it lead to self-destruction? The traditional interpretation of this story as a simple tale of love is comforting, but it lacks depth. It's a story that doesn't challenge us, doesn't ask us to question or to ponder. But stories are more than just words on a page. They are mirrors reflecting our society, our values and our relationships. Our analysis of The Giving Tree offers a new lens through which to view this story. It challenges us to look beyond the surface, to question the norms and to seek deeper meaning. 
It underscores the importance of mutual respect and reciprocity in relationships, a lesson that resonates beyond the confines of this tale. So the next time you read a seemingly simple story, dare to dig deeper. You might be surprised by what you find.